Well, Medicare and open enrollment can be complicated topics. That's why we want to bring in someone that is licensed to answer your questions. We want to introduce you to Thea Lazuriaga to tell us more about Med Eye Care and what they do. But first, um, Thea, Medicare is constantly changing and evolving. What are some of the changes we could expect, you know, as we, as we move along here? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me. Of course. And thank you for pronouncing the last <laughs> name correctly, Loser Yaga. I, I've, been, I've been practicing it over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> you get five stars. Yeah, Excuse so tell me. us about the changes that, uh, that are happening that people can, can expect. What is, what is happening? It's constantly evolving. Absolutely, it constantly is evolving, and I'm happy to say that I'm probably one of the very first folks who know about the Inflation Reduction Act that is going to take place beginning January 1st, 2025. So as you all are aware, Medicare can be very confusing, very daunting, very overwhelming. And like you said, it constantly evolves. Well, the good news is the law has been passed. 2025 final rule has been passed. It's going to happen January 1st, 2025, which means that for those of you folks who currently take very expensive medications, the donut hole or the coverage gap goes away. That is such great news. What that also means is for you folks who pay expensive co-pays for your medications, the most that you will pay in terms of co-pay or co-insurance, in other words, their share of costs, mm -hmm. will be capped at $2,000. Another part of that final rule is that some of you could be eligible for what's called the prescription payment plan, where your share of costs could be spread out in a total of 12 months. We will know more around September, so if I may suggest, keep on following our Facebook page. The name of the company is Med Eye Care Insurance Solutions because I care, and you can also visit our website, MedicareTLC.com. I'm also part of NABIP, National Association of Bis Benefits and Insurance Professionals. This is why we get firsthand information about the rules and regulations that, ca that the government approves that ultimately affects each of you folks. It's important information and that people need to be able to, you know, they want to save as much money as possible and they want to be able to take advantage of these services. So how many, how many, how much continuing education goes into keeping on top of all the, the changes? Must be a lot of constantly updating, taking new courses, getting new certifications. Absolutely. There's a lot of continuing education mm -hmm. that comes with it. I started my license in the early 2000 uh, for my life and health. And then after that, annually, we also need to be re get recertified by Medicare, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services called AHIP. What that means is we need to get proper training and certification to truly know what we do and truly know the Medicare space. Mm -hmm. Once we pass that, and that's an annual certification, we also need to get reappointed and recertified by each insurance carrier that we represent, that we're able to offer, okay? So what that means is we do probably an additional 80 hours every year on top of the added seminars and conferences that we go to. And to let you know, folks, that Med Eye Care is not just in South Carolina. So for those of you folks moving into South Carolina or outside of South Carolina, we also cover many different states and are appointed by different Medicare certified insurance carriers. Important to note, since we have viewers from North Carolina too that are maybe looking for this information as well, um, what advice would you give to those that are turning 65 uh, soon and looking for that next step, trying to figure out exactly what they need to do? What advice would you give to them? Make your life simple. <laughs> give us a call, 864-652-112. Some of you don't really need to pick up Medicare at age 65, so don't waste money. Some of you are required to pick it up to avoid any penalties down the road. Some of you may be eligible for state assistance or other resources. Some of you may qualify for a reduced Part B premium. Some of you can get help with your prescription copays as well. All of those we are trained to do and we help you with your research, enrollment and beyond, beyond absolutely at zero cost to you. We're never allowed to charge you anything. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Everybody wants to know how much they have to pay. And we got to reiterate, zero dollars. Zero dollars. All you have to do is give us a call. Pick up the phone and give us a call, and we'll be here to help you. Awesome. Medicare TLC, the number 625-2112. We'll put that information for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv. Thea, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course.